the political economy in which we all live uh, has already passed its end date. Signs of dysfunction are everywhere. Uh, and so uh, another system is coming. In addition, I already knew that the economic models we were looking at carried their own values and that our values were different and that culture was our strength, not our weakness. It's not that Indian people can't do business, it's they don't value profit over community. They don't value profit over life. It was always about the greater good. It was always about what's best for um, the whole nation, what's best for the earth, and not what's best for the individual. African American mutual aid started pretty much on the boats when we were dragged here forcibly in chains. Um, we were helping each other. From then, we had this sense, I think probably from the way that African cultures had also had a sense of mutuality and communalism, um, and then we practiced it wherever we could. The importance of the solidarity economy and cooperative economics, having under those conditions in, in, in terms of the rest, having to pull uh, our collective resources together uh, to be able to, to, to survive uh, and to be able to control our own labor. What's most important is these incredible stories of resilience and revitalization and rebirth and reemergence. So we have, uh, on our 34 acres, we have a regenerative community development. It's one of our eight initiatives. They'll hear the, the educators, including myself, um, always in the language, always speaking Lakota with them. The Wolakota Regenerative Buffalo Range it will be the largest Native American owned and managed buffalo herd in the world. Until Lakota Federal Credit Union was chartered, there was not a single bank, um, federally insured financial institution depository on the Pine Ridge Reservation. To our knowledge, are the largest seed funded Native Children's Savings Account program uh, for youth, Native youth in the country. The model is, is such that no less than 80% of the, the ownership or the equity of any of those businesses uh, uh, is, is held by the employee owners. It is actually working on is now is learning how to produce housing, different types of 3D print housing. The land trust model is a way for people to not only own housing that's affordable, but then to kind of pass that on to the next buyer who needs affordable housing. A $25,000 direct benefit for housing equity that will build wealth immediately um, through equity. But the, the difference between a public bank and a private bank is with the public bank, the interest and profit belongs to the community. I'll state it in its simplest terms. Lawyers may not represent more clients than they can competently represent. And the real question, I think, for those who uh, genuinely care about others and care about uh, the future, you know, our children or other people's children, future generations, is uh, what kind of system should we transition to? Our documentary shares these very compelling stories of resilience and powerful change. I'm Janet Roberts. Thank you for your time.